Fellas, we're going to talk about how to get started on obtaining the new exotic heavy machine gun, Air Apparent. Now, Air Apparent has the quest available right now. You can go ahead and start working on this thing. And actually, to get this exotic, you have to complete the Class Act Triumph. But with all things inside of Destiny, there is somewhat of a time gate. Currently, right now, we are expecting the earliest you can complete the Triumphs associated with Class Act is by Thursday. Thursday at reset, that is. So when we go look at the Class Act right now, and again, this is a present on seasonal and events, it states complete any seven Guardian Game 2020 Triumphs. So I'm to break down the triumphs that you can complete starting now and today, the triumphs that you'll be able to complete by Thursday, and the triumphs that seems to be even longer than that, that are going to kind of be RNG based, depending on what bounties are going to be present day to day, what medals you can obtain, which are going to be the triumphs you don't want to go after. So first up, to even get started on all of this, you need to go talk to Eva Levante. She's going to get the quest going for you. You got to go talk to Zavala, then the Drifter, and she will give you a gold medal to start things off. You input that gold medal, depending on your class, at the associated banner. Now, if you notice these banners, depending on how high the banner is, is where the standing is. Hunters are actually way in the lead. Warlocks and Titans are kind of close to each other. But every time you turn in a medal, this will raise your flag a little higher. Now, back at Eva Levante, she actually offers both bounties and medals for you to complete daily. First, let's just cover medals, considering that's actually what's going to be contributing to the majority of your triumphs as well as your overall class score. Bounties are actually tied every day to certain activities. So for like today, Tuesday, they are actually tied to Crucible and Strikes, doing things like defeating Guardians, collecting Laurels and Crucible, or defeating enemies in Vanguard Strikes, as well as collecting Laurels in Strikes. There's also a gold medal that just wants you to complete the above bounties. Essentially, four points for the weekly bounties, two points for the daily bounties, pretty much knock those out, will grant you a gold medal. Metal. Now, let's talk about that Triumph class act that you're going to need to complete to get the heavy machine gun. It requires seven Triumphs to be done, but some of these are going to be time gated. They're also just going to take a hell of a lot of time. So the Triumphs that you can complete today, starting now, if you're willing to put in the time, the first one is Embrace the Light. Now, I actually got on this morning at reset and it already said I completed this. It just states that during the Guardian Games 2020, defeat Guardians with supers in the Rumble playlist. This actually auto-completed for me. So there's a good chance if you've played Rumble at all this season, it will already be auto-completed for you as well. The next Triumph that was also auto-completed was Represent. During Guardian Games 2020, defeat combines with abilities in Vanguard Strikes and Nightfalls. Again, this one was also auto-completed. And I don't know if this is like a bug or something. Either way, two out of the seven Triumphs were already completed at reset for me today. Now, the other Triumphs that you can go ahead and get started on, and if you have the willingness to grind it out, you can complete them today, is actually the Renowned Triumph. During Guardian Games 2020, earn points by collecting laurels from Super, Grenade, and Charge Melee Final Blows. Now, there's a multitude of ways to farm for laurels, and we're actually going to make a video on how to farm for laurels if that's all you want to do. And again, laurels are like these little moats that pop up as you do certain events. You actually get more points from laurels that are actually of your own class at three points, and and other classes being at one point. So it's actually suggested to run with light classes. So Warlocks run together, Hunters run together, or Titans run together. Or if you happen to be doing solo activities, you're going to get three points per Laurel anyways because you're making your own Laurels with each kill from either your Super Grenade or Melee Final Blow kills. Now, if you want to play the long game, which is kind of what I'm suggesting here because you want to actually dip in here and complete Triumphs instead of just going out and farming Laurels, Great Deeds can also be completed today where it says collect laurels in gamut matches, strikes, forges, and on destinations. I'm under the assumption that upon completing all of these, 400 in gamut, 500 in strikes, 600 in forges, and a whopping 1,000 in destinations, we'll probably auto-complete that renowned triumph. Now that's a lot and does require quite a grind, but those two can be completed starting today alongside Represent and Embrace the Light. Now, the other Triumph that can also be completed today, but guys, I wouldn't recommend it, and that is the Show Your Colors Triumph. Earn points by completing Guardian Game Bounties. This does not go up fast at all. It's a very slow grind, four points for weekly, two points for daily, and one point for repeatable. So far right now, to complete this today, you would need to do a crap load of repeatables, and I know there's 
there's somebody out there right now that's doing this, but my God, unless you just like to suffer, I would not recommend doing this triumph, but it is one you can complete today. Now let's talk about the triumphs that you can complete by Thursday. First is gold medalists. During Guardian Games 2020, redeem gold medals. You have to redeem 30 of them. So far, if our math is correct, if you were working on all three characters, that's actually nine gold medals per day for a total of 27. Plus you get a free gold medal just when you start this quest, right? Bringing us to a total of 30. So you'll be able to complete this triumph by Thursday. Now the triumph right next to it called medalist requires 75 medals to be completed. This is a one-to-one, -one. whether it's a gold medal, a silver medal, or a bronze medal, it only counts as one each time you turn and redeem one of these. Now Eva Levante offers seven medals, giving us for a total, if you were doing this across all three characters, 21 medals per day, bringing us to a total of 63 in three days, plus the three gold medals that she gives you just when you start this quest for only a total of 66. So this is a triumph that you will not be able to complete by Thursday. You'll have to be at the earliest Friday at reset that you'll be able to complete the medalist triumph. So I would not try to tackle this one down. But of course, if you're completing the majority of these medals anyways, I guess it really doesn't matter. I would just say gold medals need to be your priority. Both of the gold medalist triumph for scoring purposes and the other triumph, Quintuple Threat, redeem a gold medal for Crucible, Gambit, Strikes, Destinations, and Forges. Now today is Crucible and Strikes which is why you already see this checked off. Depending on RNG, by Thursday, we may possibly see Gambit, Destination, and Forges together, which makes us think that we're actually going to be able to complete this triumph by Thursday alongside Gold Medalist. So just taking all of that into account, we've got Embrace the Light, Represent, Renown, Great Deeds, Gold Medalist, and Quintuple Threat, which is a total of six triumphs that we can complete by Thursday, which means we need to complete at least one more. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to rely on show your colors because world class states that during guardian games redeem forge or destination medals and notice it actually states that 20 medals need to be redeemed here's the issue with that say tomorrow we get both forge and destination medal you'll get three medals per for a total of six because i'm assuming the seventh medal will be related to bounties so we're talking about six on wednesday thursday even if we got forge or destination medals again in that refresh of medals you're still only going to be at 12. So this actually looks like it's going to take longer. World class looks like it's going to take longer to complete than even the medalist triumph. So I wouldn't necessarily depend on that one if you're trying to get this exotic machine gun fast. There is Guardian Gamble, which requires 10. This one too looks like it's going to take even longer to complete. And again, it just kind of boils down to RNG, right? If we get Gambit both Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, maybe you'll be able to complete this. But again, that's only three bounties per or three medals per because it's normally split between another activity. So the most medals you can get per day, at least per activity, is three, at least from the current layout of our medals. So I'm looking at this one, even if we had Gambit every single day, it's still going to take us four days. So just to full circle back, guys, on the triumphs that you need to work on, if you're looking to complete the Class Act Triumph and get the exotic heavy machine gun by at least Thursday, embrace the light, represent renowned great deeds, gold medalists, quintuple threat, and show your colors. That is a total of seven triumphs that will satisfy that class act triumph requirement, thus giving us the exotic heavy machine gun. Now, one thing I'm going to bring up on the second page of my seasonal event tab, there was verdant light, and it states that you generate orbs of light and crucible or gambit while affected by the competitive sheen. This is actually from the revelry of 2019. I don't know why that's there. It's showing completion, but it's not contributing to the class act triumph. Notice it still shows two out of six seven instead of three out of seven. So you may see that as completed. Just know it's not actually counting to the class act. So again, guys, embrace the light, represent renown, great deeds, gold medalists, quintuple threats, and show your colors are the triumphs to go after and complete. So guys, hopefully that helps you out. Just wanted to break down how long it's going to take us to actually get this exotic. I will be making a guide on how to farm laurels. If you're just wanting to get in there and say grind for the exotic ghosts, I'll have a guide out shortly here that takes like, I don't know, all of 
like 25 minutes to grind for that thing. It's actually pretty fast. Again, though, that's if you just want to speed run it. It's not something that I would necessarily suggest, which is why I'm not really throwing it in this video. As at the end of the day, you're going to have to farm for laurels in all these various activities, gambit strikes, forges, and destinations. So it's actually in your best interest to not necessarily speed run laurel farming, even for the bounty, but instead get your laurel completions done in all of those activities so that you're contributing to that great deeds triumph, as well as these other triumphs that's going to be required for that class act. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.